So a question was asked, who was the biggest villain in Best Man Chronicles? Was it Harper Stewart or his wife played by Sabah Lathan? On the surface, a lot of people said it was Sabah Lathan, but this is an easy, easy answer. It's definitely Harper Stewart. Harper Stewart in Best Man, because I, I've watched this over and over again. I've watched it several times. Harper Stewart is the main villain of the whole movie. Th this whole thing started because Harper selfish has slept with his best friend's woman. Let's start right there. He slept with her because he's out doing his thing. You know, uh, uh, Lance was out doing his thing on the football field with all the ladies. And Harper felt like, uh, since he out with all the ladies, let me just go on and slide in there. So that's where it starts. On top of the fact that this guy, he writes novels about his friends. That's what he does. He, he puts all the business out. He writes novels. And for whatever reason, he makes millions of dollars off the pain and trauma that he caused. Then when you go to Best Man, you go to Best Man Holiday, and even when you go to Best Man Chronicles, Harper Stewart only comes around when his money gets low and he needs to write a new book. That every, that's how it starts out. In, in Best Man Holiday, Harper's money was low. Harper and his agent wanted to write a biopic about Lance. So they go through all this shit again. He only comes around to, to use and exploit his friends. This is what he does. In this Best Man Chronicles, what happened? Harper wanted to get a movie release. This is about a selfish man who wanted to use his friends to get them to give him the go-ahead to do the movie about what he initially started when he had sex with his best friend's woman, who his best friend married. This is a great story. And it's also a fairy tale because this shit would never work in the real world. Lance would have never fucked with Harper no more. This is a, a big football playing man, super alpha male energy. He would have cut Harper the fuck off. So Harper is by far <laughs> the villain. He's the villain in every one. Now, I'm sure now, after these last Best Man Chronicles, Harper is going through this divorce. She's going to take half. He's going to fall back off. And they got to give us another one because it's so good. And guess what? Harper's going to need to write another book. Because we, like, we don't know Harper. Harper's wrote about the lives of his friends. So guess what he's going to have to do? Get the old gang back together again until he gets back on his paper. Harper is full of shit. And his wife left because she realized it, because she's sleeping with him every day. So, Harper Stewart, you, my friend, are the biggest villain in this movie. And guess what? It was excellent. This is an excellent series. Shout out to uh, Malcolm D. Lee and the whole cast. Y'all was amazing. I don't have no beef. <laughs> I, 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 this is only about Harper Stewart, not Tay Diggs. Love my brother Tay Diggs. This is about this damn character, Harper Stewart, who wasn't shit. So you tell Harper Stewart to call me.